Hey there, everybody. Have you ever drank coffee with vinegar in it? Well, I have. I just did. It's horrible. Don't try it ever. And I was cleaning up my carriage, and the way that you do that is put vinegar through it. And apparently, I didn't clean out the vinegar all the way, and I drank a cup of coffee with well, a sip of coffee with vinegar, and that was not good. What we're going to do, we're over here at the store with one of my invisible employees because, well, I'm going to use the follow me mod, so that's why you can't see him. He's not following me yet. But I saw these on marhu.net, and I think these are going to be perfect, so we are going to buy them. They come up at the store. They are like a place, well, they, I mean, they're not a placed object, but they are an object at the store that you buy. You do have to pay daily upkeep on them, but we're going to jump in my little, my little truck here that we are using kind of as a utility. I have downloaded the other version of this auger wagon. If you remember from my Le Bout to Monday series, I was using something like this, only it had a straight tongue there. It had two, well... <laughs> You know what? Why don't we just do this? I was using this one for my Libato Money series and it worked great. However, the problem is with that tongue, it's just a little bit fatter and it's a little bit closer to the front of a track. It didn't work with this truck. So I used this one. It's basically the same thing with the steering on the front. So we're going to use this for seed and fertilizer. And then because, you know, we're, we're kind of having a mega farm here and what we're doing, you know what? I, I think it'll be easier to... Okay. We'll just do this the safe and sure way. Let's go all the way out around... Oh, sorry. I kind of caught my uh, cord there a little bit. Anyway, let's, let's just go all the way safe and sound around. And I think that will be just a little bit easier. So we will use this one for the seed, we'll say. No, this one will be for... Uh, there we go. So anyway... Oh, it automatically fills. That is great. What if I don't want it automatically filling? Is there a way to... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. So, I, I noticed that earlier. It only fills up one side. I don't know if that's an animation problem with this Giants package, or if I need to press R to refill the other side, or something like that. Oh, there we go! Oh, wait, no. Wait, I don't want the back filled. Is it accidentally filling the back... Uh, I should have put fertilizer in the back. I should have filled the back first. Okay. Well, what we're going to do, that was not that much. So we're going to go over here and we're going to dump this out just a little bit. I also bought a few, I bought, well, I bought a new John Deere refill tipper. What is happening? What the, where's it all going? Oh, it's going in the back. Okay. Well, I guess, <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Well, now that they can't mix, we're going to put the, there we go. We're going to put fertilizer in the front and that's what we're going to have to do. So the front can hold, you know what? I think it might be something wrong with the animation. Let's just double check that real quick. And where is the, oh, that's right. It's registered as an auger wagon. Let's go look that up real quick. It has 10,000 liters, so we only have half of it full of fertilizer. So that is interesting. Um, wait, is this made to have seed on one side and fertilizer on the other? Is that what it's made for? Maybe I only ever needed one of these and I don't need that extra wagon in the back. Let's figure this out. That would be awesome if that's what it was intended to do. I, maybe I could have experimented. Oh, that's exactly what it is. Oh, I had no idea that's what it was made for. Well, now we have some extra seed on the ground. So I guess we'll keep this wagon for now, but we can possibly sell it back in the future. So for now, we'll probably use the back end first. So that gets used up. Let's get the follow me mod going. And then I will talk about what I have done on the farm. So let's uh, put hazards on while I run back and grab my semi. And I have, based on the suggestion of TCAP, I have sold my Voltra tractor. And you know what? We have almost all other John Deere tractors. And so I figured we might as well get another John Deere tractor. So we have an 80, what is it? Uh, 30 series, 8, eight, uh, eight something 30. And... <laughs> I feel like I should know that. And then we also have a 7030, I believe. I bought, yeah, so we have four John Deere tractors. I will show you them all in just a little bit. But let me first 
get this set up and there we go my hired that was my invisible hired employee that you could not see before now let's go i am so glad we found that out with the with the tractor that is that is awesome now that's pretty cool okay well because i wondered oh man i wish i would have known that sooner we could have saved what was that twenty thousand dollars whatever the cost of that tipper is that doesn't matter though. Anyway, we have got a lot to do on our farm before the rest of the day. We're trying to get everything planted before the end of the day because it is the first, you know, it's, it's that first section. Of, we want to catch everything on the same growth stage is what I'm trying to say. So let's, uh, uh, you know, let's pull in the other entrance. It gives us just a little bit more. Oh, hold on, buddy. What are you doing? You know what? Maybe I should try to drive on the road for once. My steering wheel is still, I don't know what's going on with it. It's still on the fritz. I, at first I thought it was an audio driver problem because it only happened when I had audio problems. And then I realized that it wasn't an audio driver problem. And, you know, because I fixed my audio driver, so I think I did, where it would just stop recording. And then I thought that it was a hardware problem because what else could it be, right? Well, it's apparently not a hardware problem. I was playing with my steering wheel and pedals on my laptop all weekend, and I did not have one problem. So I think that in the end, it has got to be some kind of driver problem, maybe with my motherboard. And that's, that's what I got to figure out because it just doesn't make sense. But what does make sense is if it is a USB driver problem, and I should have thought of this sooner before I thought it was a hardware problem, but it would make sense that the problem would be kind of synonymous with my audio driver because they're both USB plugs. So if it's a USB driver problem, then it only makes sense that it's happening to multiple USB inputs. Anyway, we've got to get our planner going. If anybody knows the proper way to refill a cedar, let me know because I, I don't really like doing it this fake way. But as you saw from my video, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't unload the billet into their with a, you know, by, by picking up with a tractor and telehandler, it didn't work. So if anyone knows the proper way to do this without having to do this, and oh no, do I need to pull alongside? Okay, let's just start you up. And I think I need to be alongside. No, I didn't mean to, <laughs> there we go, there we go. Okay, so we are gonna need some fertilizer. Let's uh, run back over and get our fertilizer. We need to get you going, buddy. We'll get you going. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, run back to you, or you are over here. This is awesome. I am happy that we have found the, you know, something we could do is, let's see. Should we switch to dry fertilizer instead of wet fertilizer? I don't know. I actually, okay, so <laughs> let's let's actually take you around the farm real quick. A couple things, I changed, uh, I changed a few things. I changed a few things. Well, first, I, I found out that I had multiple planters. So I sold the, I, I sold some of the smaller planters I had. Like I had a smaller version of the Stara, the Stara, Stara, Stara. I had a smaller version of this one. I sold off the smaller version of this. I sold off a couple of the Stara tractors that I had because they just didn't have a use. I loved them, but you know, I'm starting out big and it just didn't fit. I sold my Imperador because this just has so much wider of a width. It's so much faster. Yeah, so I, I liked the Imperador, but I got the horse instead. That's cool. And so here are my tractors. I think that I had these three in the previous video. But what... Oh, that's right. We have five John Deere tractors now. Because what I did is I sold off... Okay, so I wanted another smaller front loader tractor. And the larger St Strara just... Is it Strara or Stara? Stara. The larger Stara did not have a front holder, front handler... Front handler, front holder, front, <laughs> whatever the thing is that you put the the stupid um, front thingies on to lift up pallets. The <laughs> front loader, I, that's, that's what I was looking for. If I said that, it didn't sound right. Anyway, yeah, so he's my second front loading tractor, but he's 209 horsepower. And then you have the 6R, which is 245 horsepower. And so the largest Stara was 150 or 180. So those just give us a little bit more. And then I sold off my small Massey Ferguson just because it, I mean, if I have two bigger tractors that can have a front hold, front height, front holder, I, oh, I'm doing it again. The... <laughs> <laughs> the front loader, not front holder. That's what I was doing. It has a front, the ability to use a front loader on it. 
you know, the Massey, the smaller Massey just didn't have a purpose. And then I went and sold off my Voltra for like 250 or 300,000. I think it was 300,000. That tractor was expensive. And I was able to get this John Deere 8030. And so this is a huge deal. I upgraded it to 350 horsepower and we've got some nice dual wheels. So this will be one of my planting tractors. This will be my billet planter for now. And then this will be my big star uh, uh, soybean planter because it's it needs a little bit more, you know, to, to haul it through the ground. Anyway, let's get out of there. So that's, that's kind of the update on what I did. Sorry, it kind of took so long to show you that but we do need to add fertilizer to you know what can it add only fertilizer that seems a little unrealistic unless oh you know what i bet you yeah anyway i was looking yeah it does see look you can open up either the right gate or the left gate it looks like those are what solenoid operated valves look at that that's awesome that is pretty cool anyway so we will be able to indeed give fertilizer to my villa planter up here, but we don't have to try to drop seed in there. We don't need to worry about that. That is a really nice feature. I am happy that we have this little this little truck. And you know what this means? This means that now we can pull around the liquid fertilizer tank behind us and just turn this sucker into a like utility, you know, spring machine getting ready your truck you know of the future or something like that let's uh get the pipe out which one is the pipe there we go all right let's see if we can back into something well not back into something let's see if we can back up without hitting something that's what i was trying to say you know what we need to change our trucks because we were going with the star uh, orange but now it looks like we need to go with john Deere green okay so in case you use this i have noticed from the other auger wagon i'll just go back so you can see it again if so you don't avoid dumping on the ground you back up until you see the little exclamation point and well you don't want the exclamation point if you see unload now and you see that little exclamation point then that is bad let's see if i can get it to why isn't it well that's weird it set up the first time huh oh well well we can uh i'll, I'll point it out if i see it again but right now let's just dump wait is that seeds uh i wanted fertilizer can you, what you can use seeds that is seeds right um how do i change oh toggle door oh goodness was i dumping on the ground oh no so i dumping on the ground I hope I was not dumping on the ground. All right, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so that is full now. I don't think I was dumping on the ground, but did I, well, that's interesting. Can I fill that up with seats? Whoops. Oh, oh, that's weird. I guess you don't have to lower the door either. Well, that was weird. Um, if we can fill up with seeds, well, that's not realistic, but it's also a little bit weird. Did my... Wait, was that my... Oh, are you kidding me? Whoa. My stupid steering wheel. That was... I think my steering wheel is acting up, guys. I really hate playing without a steer. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Unfortunately, I got to play the rest of the episode without a steering wheel. I really hate this. I cannot figure out what the heck is wrong. And it is not just the steering wheel. It's some kind of... It, it's got to be some kind of driver problem. All right, let's get started here. We have... Let's see. We need to fill up our planters with seeds so we can get started planting corn and soybeans. We got to get those in the ground. I really hate not having a steering wheel. It just, it, you know, it probably doesn't look as smooth. Also, I've seen guys play without a steering wheel and with the steering wheel, and it really does make a big difference. And hold on, while we're here, I wanted to show you the tractor we got. This is the 7030, I think? 7530. And yeah, so it's a great little front loader tractor. And oh, look, we have more. <laughs> I missed that billet. We have uh, the... 
You know, I, I, it, it's great for another tractor around the farm. That's exactly what I got it for. That's what I wanted. Oh, and I did get a fuel refiller and, uh, you know, the, the, the customizing ability that that adds. Yeah, so in case you were not paying attention, I did change the tractor because... And I also changed the planter. I used to have a John Deere planter, but you... It just... I don't know, it didn't seem to work as good. It was really unbalanced. As soon as I filled it up, it, as soon as I filled it up and I unhooked it from a tractor to change tractors, it basically took off on me. And I couldn't, I couldn't, I wasn't able to reattach a tractor. So I got this one instead. I think it is a little bit better. Okay, so that should be great there. Now we gotta get back inside of our truck and hit the latch. Let's see, refill. Whoa! Don't want that. I should have looked. Okay, so that was the exclamation point. If you would have seen up there at the very top, it says it like shows an exclamation point, and that is that means you're gonna dump on the ground, but it means you're close. If you want to, let's see, let's just get rid of that. If you want to know when to dump or not, be sure to look up there. Unlike what I did, we spilled just a little bit on the ground while we are here. Actually, let's let's start you off. You know, I was going to drive these tractors a little bit because I thought it would be fun, but without the steering wheel, I don't know. Let's uh, close our wheel here. So I think I was going to do, well, I guess we could do six. Hold on. We got to put on. I, I think I got to do just a few like end rows here because otherwise this is a big beast to turn around and I don't want it getting stuck down there in the, in this, in the shrubs. You know, I think we are. Right? Let's come back and drive this tractor. Or should we drive? No, let's drive the big one. No, let's drive this one. I kind of like planting corn. That's I hate planting soybeans in real life. Let's leave the big one. We're going to drive the big one to a field, and then we'll come back here in the 8530. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, dump with the back first. So let's actually, let's see. How are we going to do this? Actually, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> let's do this there we go instead of uh, going all the way around in a circle I guess if we line it up pretty good we can go straight back let's try that okay, let's hop on around into our vehicle and let's try going straight back there we go <laughs> so let's try that to jackknife it and look for the okay there's the exclamation point that is bad and we want without the exclamation point but there we go so that should be good right there, right? Looks like it's off, but well, that's weird. So one of those two, tr one of those triggers are a little bit off, but you know what? It looks like it's working just fine. And we've got seed going out. So now we just need to change and add fertilizer. Is that, oh, it stopped. Wait, where's it going? There's no animation. Oh, we're filling the back with the front. Wait, are we filling the... What's going on? Did we fill... We filled something with something. Do we have seed in here? Okay, it's full of seed. So I did something there. I think, I think it's, you know, it's probably just not the best with both of those things together. Okay, so let's let's figure this out. We want to let's see, pipe out, and then we want to we want fertilizer. So let's get that, and now we just need to look for the same type of thing. Let's uh, okay. So manual only exclamation point, no exclamation point. So that's what we want. So it looks like the animation, I don't know if the window is just a little bit off for the Stara or if it's off for these unloader and auger. So that looks a little bit ugly, but we are filling it. So there is that going on. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of that now. Wrong way, hello. Okay, so now, you know what? We can turn you off and let's go jump in our nine. Oh, here we go. This. Oops, you were already running. Okay, so where are we going to go? Now we got to plan out if this field, one, two, and three are corn. Let's start up with maybe 12. You know what? Well, let's plant all of these as soybeans. We'll do these, all these fields as corn. 
and all of these are soybeans. And then these three sugar cane. I think that's a, that's a pretty good plan. All right, let's get started. There we go. You get cooking. Plant soybeans. So in real life, here's where you would uh, have a guy running behind, you know, checking depth to make sure that, you know, everything's set up properly on the planter. But there is only, you know, <laughs> that, that wouldn't do any purpose in this game. So let's uh, get back to our other planter and let's uh, get at it. Maybe I will plant with this guy a little bit. You know, I mean, there's, there's really nothing else to do on the farm. And so what else are we going to do, right? So my turning will look a little ugly, but this will uh, show you how I would plant this cornfield in real life. So let's uh, get with it. I think that actually, I don't know. This is kind of a tough field because here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant this field. I am going to plant it east to west. But since there's no real way to plant down here east to west, I mean, with the planter this big, you do end rows on either side, and then you plant east to west a few times, and then, you know, you're kind of, uh, <laughs> your, your rows are going to be so short, there's like basically no point to doing them. So I think this is how most farmers would plant this in real life, because you have a huge field up there. I think we'll just do this section north to south, or should we do the whole field north to south? One second. I don't think it's... I don't know. I think we're going to do it east to west. I don't know. This is kind of a tricky field. So let's just plant down here north to south. And... I mean, really, we're almost, we're almost done with this section with this huge of a planter. This is really nice. I have never had something this big in real life or in Farming Simulator. Like I was saying, and if you guys are just tuning into this series, I was saying in the last series how I never, you know, I never buy myself huge equipment. And so I always start off small and then it always seems like I move on to the next map before I actually get to enjoy the big equipment. Really, part of the problem is I like to play UK maps and a lot of UK maps, you can't fit some of this big equipment through the door. So that is indeed part of the problem. Okay, so here we go. We are on GPS. And let's go. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I am fixing my buttons. Okay, I always forget which buttons are what for uh, when, when I go back to the keyboard again. Look at that. That's a pretty view. Good old John Deere tractor. Farming in South America. That's a, is my field of view changed? Because this... I don't know. This field of view looks a little bit different than... Than uh, other tractors. Maybe it's just me. But it looks especially nice or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, Air Pro. Yep, you're an air seeder. Where is the... I don't see an opener. Oh, that's the opening wheel. That's weird. Wait, there's only one... We got an opener on one side. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. No, so it's a... Wait, no. Those are weird because you see how those are kind of right next to each other? They're almost like spaced out in tandem. That is really interesting. Because that's not made... That's weird. I don't know how you would plant corn like that. Why? It's like they have two rows right next to each other. And then a small space. You see that? That is very interesting. Anyway, let's uh, stop here. Now, part of the problem is I probably would have wanted to stop up there earlier. Because if I have to make the combine come out all the way here... You know, imagine a combine. So this is a mistake, planting corn. And this is why you always have to think when you plant. <laughs> and I was not. I, I was playing a game. So if you imagine a combine picking rows of corn along here, how are they going to turn around and get in straight right here? You know, there's not enough space to turn a... Uh, just barely. 
I guess it is just barely, but you want to generally make it easier on the combine. So if I would have had rows, if I would have stopped about one planter width, like right here, say like right there, then I could have came out, turned around and started my end rows this direction. And the combine has an infinite amount of space to go in straight here. And the reason why, in case you're not a farmer, the reason why you want the corn planter going in straight, well, it's because it's a road crop and you knock over a lot of corn typically when opening up a field if it's a sloppy planting job or it's not planted out with thought. And so planting it with some thought really makes the combine operator's job a lot easier. A lot easier. Over here, I think we actually only need, actually, you know, we really don't even need end rows. I think we'll just do one pass and we'll go back down to the bottom again. Because when it's open this big, you don't really need end rows. And we're going to go down and yeah, we're going to get him started. Then we're going to go back to playing Mr. Manager. Because unfortunately, I think that that's what we need to do for a farm this size. All right, we have our billet planter out of seeds. Oh, that's right. I never filled it up all the way, did I? Because I had that little problem. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure you are full all the way with seed. And let's go on this side of you. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare to harvest. Guys, I'm going to need some help harvesting this. So we'll probably try to make this a multiplayer harvest extravaganza. You know what? Let's back out. All right, we are going to need some more billet, but first, actually, we can load up with the billet that is back at the farm. Okay, before the store, I was able to do two of these at once. Oh, no. I am not... Oh, man. Oh, I got rid of the Massey! I can't get him! There we go. And now this one will be a little bit more of a challenge. We got to get some clearance. And then I think I'll be able to work some fork magic. Oh. I No. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do some fork magic here. If I can. <laughs> this is really ugly. I got to get my billet. Yeah. That was ugly. That was ugly. Did we get it far enough? Did we get it far enough? Ah, uh, let's go see. Stupid billet. You know what? Something we have to figure out is where are we going to store billet for, you know, a couple years so that we can actually replant it later. Oh, I didn't mean to. So that we can actually replant it later. So that way we don't have to load all this up. We just have a big st store of billet. Okay, 2,000. There we go. We're going to have to figure that out. We're going to also have to remember how much it took to... Let's, how much do we store? I don't even know, where do we store the billet? I don't know. That's uh, If you guys are playing this map or if you have any ideas where to store the billet at the end of the season... Well, actually, I think we'll sell it all. What you get, you get to keep it for three seasons, right? Or it takes three seasons before the before you have to replant sugarcane. So I think that we won't store any on the farm until the third year. But it is good to think about stuff like that ahead of time. I, I don't know where to store the billet, so or the the, the cut sugarcane, which I guess is technically billet, right? Because isn't billet just part of a part of a stalk? Which is actually, I actually looked up what a billet planter is. And apparently, you know, it brought up the fact, uh, actually most of the Google searches were like billet, billet planting versus, you know, the whole, whoa, versus the whole stock planting. And so apparently there's a little bit debate up for which way is best. You can actually plant the entire stock of sugar cane. That seems to be a way to plant. I don't know if billet is better or worse, but it's the only thing that machines can do in, in mass. I don't know. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. If anybody knows anything about sugarcane planting or harvesting in real life, that please let me know how you plant in real life and 
how, how that works because th that, that would be a fascinating topic. I think that we will just hang out right down here. Should we buy another billet planter? That is the question. We're definitely going to finish planting corn and soybeans before. We got to finish planting our billet by the end of today. Should we buy another billet planter? We have that extra change based on the, the extra machinery and tractors that I sold. So let's go back to, let's, let's take a look at our other tractors here. You automatically started planting this field. That's interesting. Well, I guess this is a, a cornfield, guys. <laughs> um, okay. I, I didn't necessarily want that, but... Well, okay, that's fine. We got corn all down here. We got corn on field eight. Hopefully he doesn't start planting field number seven because I think I want all of these, maybe six soybeans and then five and four corn or maybe four, five and six corn and seven soybeans. I think that's what we'll do. So after we get finished planting that field, I think we're going to go right here and we'll plant field seven because I don't want him to accidentally start planting field seven. Yeah, so then we'll have 7, 9, 11, 10, 12, all soybeans. These fields, all corn, and then these fields, all sugar cane. Actually, are we going to finish in time by the end of the day? I think we got to buy another tractor. Or not another tractor. I think we got to buy another billet planter. We'll start billet planting field 13. That's what we're going to do. So let's buy another billet planter. And what field is, let's see. So we have our 6R that's almost done right now. He has 245 horsepower, I think. Let's double check. We have, where's our 6R? 6R. 6R, you have 245 horsepower. The store says that sugarcane, the double billet needs 220. That looks like we need to give it a try. And let's go get that. So let's actually get that with our 7030. Let's see, how are you doing on seed fertilizer? You're fine for now. Let's go get that with our 7030, so that way it is ready to go. All right, the store had one more sugarcane billet planter, so we took that off, and you know what? It came with uh, with loaded with billet, so that was that was really nice of the the store. All right, here we go. Here's the big test: whether or not we need a front weight, and I can't believe. I forgot to get a front weight for you. Let's see. And uh, I think you got it. You got enough weight up there. Yeah, that works. All right, we're good. Let's uh, start billeting. <laughs> this is uh, this is a fun. Okay, so we get two tractors now with uh, billet planters, and this will be great. So we can actually. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the fertilizer out. And the other tractor is out of fertilizer too, so this will be good. Let's get our fertilizer on. Why aren't you working? Unload, unfold, manual unloading right there. Well, that's interesting. You are not filling. Let's uh, try filling you first. Now it works. So does it have to be filled with fertilizer first? Is that the problem? And let's try planting just a little bit. And see once we generate some... Okay, so once we have some space, let's try to fill you up now with fertilizer. And let's see if we can't fill you up a little bit now. Is this... Wait a minute. Is that liquid fertilizer? Okay, well now it works. It certainly doesn't look like liquid fertilizer. I mean, it certainly looks like it's spraying liquid fertilizer on. Maybe I'm supposed to be giving liquid fertilizer. Maybe that's why it's not working. All right, well, no matter. Let's uh, get you filled, and we can start you off now. All right, we've got our planter full again. we got to get back down and get on our same track so we can resume planting. It looks like it looks like that, it looks like that is liquid fertilizer that is spraying on there, which if that's the case... I don't know why the other fertilizer was working at all. That seems like a glitch. I, I thought that the front compartment was for fertilizer, dry fertilizer, but I don't know. I, I mean, it clearly doesn't look like it. It looks like it's spraying. I mean, look at this.
when you start it off, that looks like liquid fertilizer that you're spraying on the crop. All right, well, perhaps we should just, should we just plant all the rest of the field's corn? Maybe we'll make this a big corn year. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I can live with that. We do need to go finish the other end of the cornfields, though, because those looked ugly. And then we might as well just plant corn over here. I, you know, the, the bean planter is done for the day. That'll, that'll be just fine. I think that'll work. Yeah, and then next year we'll have more soybeans than corn, but whatever. I, I think that'll work. Unfortunately, this planter does not have a fertilizer option. That is the one downside. So we could actually set out our Massey and spray all the fields again. Or we could potentially use the weeder on all the fields. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. We'll run the weeder through. And let's see, where else? So we got that to finish up. I think the rest of the fields are good after that. Yep, that one's me and all sugar canes. We got not as much sugar cane as I wanted to be planted, but you know what? We'll explain our sugar cane operations the next time that we go around and plant sugar cane. It was just a little bit too much to get done here in the spring. Especially when we didn't know what we were doing. Now that we know what we're doing, I think I think it'll be a lot easier in the future. So let's go over and plant corn on those other fields, and then I guess we can put our bean planter away because it's done for the year. Bye bye, lady. Plant straight, plant true, or whatever we're gonna use. Okay, so I think that let's let's grab out the. Here's something else we can do. I want to grab the water tanker with, well, you can, okay, so what are you gonna do? You know what, let's get you weeding. Do we have narrow wheels for you? Let's get, oh, we need a pressure washer. Oh, there's so much to do. Okay, so actually, let's, uh, this uh, this episode's running really long. Let's just, uh, there's still so much to do. Let's buy a pressure washer. We'll park this over by the pressure washer. It will remind me that I need to wash you off and put you away, and then we're gonna get the weeder out and we will run, you know what, let's park you right next facing the weeder. So we remember that I was gonna have you run the weeder. And that's what we will do right there. And so I think that concludes this episode. The very last thing I wanted to do is actually, I wanted to bring you home and grab the liquid fertilizer tanker so that we can see if the if those built planters, I want to confirm that those are liquid fertilizer. That would be my suspicion based on what I have seen, but, you know, I, I'd like to confirm it. But we can confirm it at the beginning of next episode. I think that is enough for today. Let's uh, finish by backing you on up close to the liquid fertilizer planter. The liquid fertilizer spray, uh, not sprayer, cedar thing. I can't think of what you are. Tanker. Uh, yeah, see, this is another one where I just don't know if it's going to work. It's got that really long arm. We can try. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. It's just a little bit too, yeah. So, anyway, we're going to have to get a tractor for that guy. But for now, I think that, you know what? Let's leave you backed up so I remember what I was trying to do. Because we want to use that liquid fertilizer tank for the other... Um, for the rest of the beets. I, I want to do it right, not beets. Uh, sugar cane. I want to do it right if we can. And it would be nice to know if that was why it didn't work before. So anyway, I think that concludes this episode. Thanks again for watching and tuning in. This is gonna, we're going to have a massive harvest. It's going to take a lot of work, but I think we will have some fun doing it. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Until next time, remember, stay tuned for, I'll do some kind of video on Central Illinois. I'm not sure if it's going to be like another tour or like uh, more of like a, this is how we farm, this is how we plant our field. So anyway... Uh, stay tuned for that and thanks for watching guys and uh, sorry about my steering wheel but until then this is mr manager from south america signing off have a great day guys bye bye